You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Why? Um, so no one wakes up in the morning. So you know, but why are we getting? Why are we getting these objections? Why? Why? Okay. Why? why? Okay. okay? Sure. Number one. Mm-hmm. Number one reason. What okay. Not providing options. Hmm. Okay. Your guys aren't providing options. Why? Okay. They're going in with a broke fix mentality. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and what that does to Mrs. Jones, to your customer, mm-hmm. is that okay? Already she's objecting to you. All right, she already feels out of control. Right. And and she wants to. Here's the psychology that's really happening here. And this this sounds crazy, it's but crazy. but it's true. Okay. Mrs. Jones wants to tell you no. She does. Even though she's called you up mm-hmm. and has you come out, mm-hmm. her whole being wants to say, No. You know, like I don't want to do this. I don't want to spend money on this. I I I want to I want to spend really I want to spend the money on myself on, on this <laughs> this weekend. Uh-huh. You know, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. She wants to say no. So when we go in there with only one option, mm-hmm. you know, just just with the basic, you know, if you look at it, a yes and no is a 50-50 shot, right? Right. So even if we just go with the, you know, just the cold way of looking at it, you know, the 50-50, mm-hmm. no, no, unemotionally, you have a 50-50 shot of getting a no, you know, um, an objection. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and the objections, the, the customer isn't going to come right out and say, you know, that what, what they're really feeling. Right. Okay. Yep. They, you know, most people um, don't want confrontation. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and so they'll so say things like, up. well, someone, I, I could have got this cheaper at blah, blah, blah. Right. Or I, my someone I know got it cheaper mm-hmm. or my, my uncle can do it or I need to talk he with just, my husband, those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. And so we get those kinds of objections. But that's just a way of saying no. The reality of it is because of all this motion that's really going on, mm-hmm. it's really an 80-20. When you go in there and just give one option, okay, mm-hmm. you're giving really it's about an 80-20 Eighty percent chance you're going to get a no, right? Because of all the the, the emotion that's if you associated. Back them with. in the corner. Right? You back them in the corner, mm-hmm. right? And I just, you know, no one wants to spend any money with a plumber, so it's always too high, right? Okay, there's some psychology here that we work with guys that you know when you're trying to be the low guy, you never can go low enough. No, plumbing's not worth anything. We just said it. They know. They know that um, they can get the parts. They see they can get the same parts at Home Depot for twenty bucks. Right, right. The same parts, okay. And of course, they don't have to stock it or go get it or whatever and deal with it. <laughs> right. Um, also, there's shows where a whole bathroom, you know, you get a spa bathroom done in thirty minutes. So how hard <laughs> on can a it be? HGTV. How, right. On mm-hmm. H. Right. How hard mm-hmm. can it be? All yeah, right. It's a piece of cake. All right. And what? you're just a plumber, mm-hmm. okay. You know, I'm a, I'm a healthcare professional. And I know all about COVID and diseases that will kill you, you know, and so I, you know, it's, and I wear a mask. So how, how, you know, you're just a plumber. Okay. We are never, we have never been highly thought of. Okay. So you have all that emotion going on. Mm -hmm. And so you aren't worth anything. Okay. So already they want to say no to that. So we just give them one option to say no to one choice, Mm -hmm. one choice. We back them in the corner. We're going to get a no. Also, by providing just one choice, mm-hmm. okay, but not providing options, you know, good, better, best options, right? Okay, all right. We don't have the opportunity to give them price perspective, okay? okay. We're all familiar with price perspective. Mm-hmm. If you've ever bought a house, okay, a car, yes. even a TV, okay, mm-hmm. even even a TV, go to Walmart TV, okay, and you go look for a TV, right. and your budget is, you know. $300 for a nice TV, okay? Mm-hmm. But you see the other TVs mm-hmm. there and you start seeing TVs for $2,000 mm-hmm. and $1,000 and $800. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, the $800 TV doesn't seem expensive. Correct. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, and when they're all laid out in front of you like right. that. Realtors are great at doing this. Yes. You buy a home, you tell them what your budget is. Uh, they show you um, more home for at a, at a more, they don't expect you to buy that home, mm-hmm. but what they're doing is they're getting you up yep. into what, what you feel you can handle, mm-hmm. what, what you feel um, that you want to spend. Correct. Okay. The same thing works with the plumbing. Hey, Danny. Okay. Hey. When you say that, 
that um, toilet repair is, uh, you know, $180. $180? Well, I can get the parts at Home Depot for $20, and, and they, just, they just fix themselves. Mm-hmm. All you do is blow on it. I've seen it. I've seen it on TV. <laughs> Okay. And YouTube, it's a piece of cake. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. So the hundred eighty dollars is high, but when they see a toilet, you know, a toilet, basic toilet repair, hundred eighty dollars, and a mm-hmm. more of a major toilet repair, you know, for three hundred some dollars, and a new toilet for six hundred dollars. Right. All right. And they see six hundred, three hundred something. Mm-hmm. Now one hundred eighty doesn't seem so high. Does not. Okay. It's, it's so true, and that's just, that's how it is everywhere. Think about um, we went to get the car wash the other day, right? Right. And you have the, oh. the different prices. Right, yep. you know, good, better, and best, and exactly. the, the twenty-five dollar car wash compared to the ten dollar car wash. Ten dollars seems really cheap. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. When you think about ten dollars to wash my car, all I'm doing is driving through the car. You're not. You're not even. You're just spraying it. What? Mm-hmm. Why is it ten bucks? <laughs> I mean, you look by. I mean, we can get off of you know that kind mm-hmm. of a thing. Right. Um, but the ten dollars doesn't seem so bad. The fifteen dollars doesn't seem so bad. Correct. When you see the, you know, the twenty, twenty five dollar full fledged whatever, mm-hmm. you know. Right. And so hey, and we're used to a good, better, best. We're used to having options. We are. Okay, really as a people we're used to having options. Right. People don't trust everywhere you go. Not having options. Mm-hmm. Key word there. Let me say it again. All right, your customers don't trust not having options. Yep, it's true. Okay.